Oh, hello. It is Tuesday, the 15th of January, and we, if you can see, are just about to arrive in Grand Cayman. Yes, hello. Welcome back to Richard Vlogs Disney. My name's Richard. I make Disney vlogs. Roberta's in there. Um, we are about to arrive in Grand Cayman. Let's, let's spin you around. Let's show you what you can see. So there is Grand Cayman. There are two ships uh, that I can see at the moment. Uh, one will be the Norwegian Escape that has been following us <laughs> from uh, Port Canaveral since we were there. I don't know what the other one is. There is no dock at Grand Cayman. There's a reef that surrounds the island and that has to be protected so ships can't go over that. So basically ships will anchor offshore and then passengers will be tendered in little boats from their ships to shore. Um, I have a feeling that's going to be very busy this morning because everyone will want to get off very quickly, um, especially the people that are doing like port adventures, which we don't have here. So our plan is to wait for the open tender call. So what they will do, if you want to get on a tender, is you have to go and wait in the uh, theatre and they take you in groups down to the tenders. Once they clear that and there are, there's just like no one really waiting, they, they make an open tender call and then you can go straight down to deck one and get on a boat. So that's our plan is to wait for that. In the meantime, we plan on getting like a nice lunch, not doing very much, hopefully enjoying a slightly quieter ship uh, and then we'll get off and we have no port adventures or plans in Grand Cayman. We're just going to have a nice walk around, explore a new place. Oh, hello, Southern Time. Skip many hours ahead. Um, we've done well, basically what we said we were going to do, which is not get off the ship uh, very early. It's now coming up to one o'clock. They've just announced open tenders, so you can just get straight off and go down to the tender station on deck one midship. Uh, but we are going for lunch first, and then we're going to go uh, to a tender and go and explore Grand Cayman. I'm pretty sure, yes, Royal Court is open for lunch. But this is why I like uh, staying on board in the mornings of some port days because it's so quiet in here. This is when you get to see the ship at its emptiest. If you want to get those like empty daytime photos of the atrium, this is the day or the time even. So we are down in Royal Court. Uh, this is the lunch menu. So this is the what you can get if you come down for an a la carte lunch. Uh, it's very much not busy in here, but it is nice to come and you know avoid cabanas and the pool deck. It's also nice to get to like experience some of the dining rooms in the day. So one is Karma, which you, if you know dinner service, you know it can be not manic. They're never manic, but it's busy. Uh, it's nice to see the restaurant calm. It's quiet in here. Uh, you can see out the windows like it's just a nice environment to come so if you do have like a sea day or even a port day where you're not as uh, bothered about getting off the ship like straight away uh, it's nice to come and just have a chill lunch and you can just order small plates like the small plates on the menu you can just come and have some desserts like it, it, it's not like a normal restaurant right where you have to like go through the menu and you're gonna pay it's included in your cruise fare as is standard, I've started to eat before I remembered to film. Good old me. Uh, we've both gone for one of the small plates, which is a beef satay skewer. Um, this beef is so good, actually. That's really, really nice. I do have a soup and a dessert on the way as well. And I forgot to film all of the rest of my food. <laughs> we had, um, the soup was great. I also had an apple strudel, which was wonderful. And we spent a really long time talking to um, our server, which was nice because, of course, it's not your normal server that you get um, at dinner, so it's nice to like meet someone else, talk to someone else, find out about someone else. Um, we just come up to deck four so I can take a picture of this empty lobby. So we have come down to get on our tender. It's a bit weird getting off a ship onto a smaller boat. Oh, bang my head. I'm not sure how much you can hear me over the sound of the tender engine, but um, obviously it does make disembarking a bit of a longer process because you have to wait for a tender to empty and then for them to let you on board. So like, it's not, you can't rush off when there's a tender service. Um, but at the same time, you get some incredible views of the ship because you're gonna, we're gonna go right down underneath essentially the bow of the ship, which you would never normally get to see up close. So it's very cool to be able to get these awesome views. 
and away we go. So cool seeing the ship from this angle. Apologies for any wind noise on the microphone, but I just wanted to show off this view of the ship because it is always an interesting view when you get to be off the ship while it's still sort of at sea almost. We also have our other two ships that are here with us, the MSC Seascape and the Celebrity Reflection. For some reason the Norwegian Escape has already left. Uh, which is, considering it's only coming up to two o'clock and it's judging by where it is on the cruise mapper website, it left a while ago. So I don't know if something happened because it seems weird that it would only be here for essentially like three hours. But yeah, there's three of us here right now. I never like to tell people how to cruise. I think the great thing about cruising is that it can be whatever kind of holiday you want it to be it can be manic it could be crazy you can run around or it could be chill and you could do nothing but if you do watch for recommendations and you do you know want some tips i genuinely do recommend picking a port day one of your port days and and having a half port day and spending the morning on the ship because getting to experience a quieter emptier ship it's so relaxing it's so nice and it's really nice like earlier to walk around in that empty atrium so for me it is worth it welcome to the cayman islands um we don't really have any plans i'm really not sure what's here obviously it's a nice place but uh we are just gonna go and have a nice walk around that's a nice view of the ship over my shoulder there so this should give you a sort of idea of the scale of grand cayman it is a very large island uh, we are currently here in Georgetown, but the, the island, it is large and there is a lot to see. It's a place that you can come, obviously like all of these places, you don't have to come on a cruise, um, but there are many resorts and all-inclusive kind of places in Grand Cayman. It's very easy to fly here from the States. So um, it's a place that if you came on a cruise and you wanted to see more of the island and see the whole thing, you absolutely could come and do that. Uh, it is also nice obviously just to come here on a cruise, experience a little bit of it and then jet off to somewhere else. The Cayman Islands is generally considered one of the safest, if not the safest place in the Caribbean. Uh, it's also considered one of the nicest places in the Caribbean. Um, you may notice on the flag there's a little Union flag. Uh, it was a uh, UK... Um, it's a UK British overseas yeah, territory. Yeah, it's a British overseas territory. So anyone that is from the Cayman Islands is still technically British and they have some rights and protections by based upon their passport. Uh, but it is a British overseas territory. So maybe it'll be a little bit like coming home. I mean, look, big Union flags. It's just like being at home. See, like all of the ports and around the ports, there's lots of local souvenir shops and places you can come and get Cayman Islands merchandise. There's also like your standard like jewellery shops, we're walking past one now, like it's everywhere you go on cruises, in the, at the port, they're just full of jewellery shops, it's a very common thing to buy on cruising uh, in the Caribbean, so there's lots of that around as well. There's also like big American brands, we just walked past a Dairy Queen, so uh, it's not the most authentic maybe, um, but I guess it's the same as when we got off in Mexico and the first thing we saw was Hooters and Starbucks. So it, always these places, they do uh, really try and cater for the tourist market that's coming in. And cruising is obviously massive in this little part of town. But I'm sure if you were to go out and explore like outside of Georgetown, you will get a more like authentic Cayman Islands experience. That's something that you would need to look in at the port adventures for to find out, you know, where, somewhere to, something to take you like on an island tour or something like that. There are a few beaches down right by the port if you want to come and touch some Grand Cayman sand. You might have to share with the chickens though. Can confirm the water is warm as you would expect considering it's 30 degrees or 29 degrees in January but it's also 
very clear. We've come down the other way from the port. Still some chickens, if you can see them. But we're in like another shopping area. It does seem like chickens are just free roaming here. Uh, if you've ever been to Key West, it's like that there as well. There's just chickens everywhere. But yeah, there's, there's chickens just on the street and that seems standard, I guess, for Grand Cayman. I was talking earlier about like not telling you how to cruise. I think the other thing I was gonna talk about, what I thought about is, uh, don't feel like, you, like, I've definitely said to people before like, oh, we didn't get off at that port. And they went, oh, you went all that way and you didn't get off, why, what's the point? And the point is, I didn't want to, and it's my vacation slash holiday, and I'll do what I want. Um, don't make anyone feel like you have to get off, or you have to be off the ship for a certain amount of time, or you have to you have to go and do something because just because you went to another place. Of course, it's great to come to other places. It's nice. I'm enjoying going around and exploring. But we're going to head back to the ship soon and have fun there as well. Like, that's the whole point of of a cruise, right? Like, the ship is as much of a destination as the islands that you go to or the countries that you go to. So. You can enjoy that on a port day as well. Like you don't have to get off and feel like you were made to get off just because you came to somewhere else. Like, do what you want, it's your holiday. See, I told you it was just gonna be like being in the UK. This looks just like home. So we had a nice walk around town. We bought some magnets. If you followed our earlier vlogs, you know magnets are our, our our way of uh, like remembering places we've gone we always try and buy a magnet from somewhere and we're gonna board the tender now and head back to the air conditioning <laughs> the the blessed blessed air conditioning sudden time jump i really haven't filmed very much today i have a feeling that this is getting blended in for to a dual day vlog uh, but it is dinner time we are back in animator's palette tonight uh, it's the first time we're like repeating a restaurant uh, it means we get the second show though in animator's palette which if you've been on the hello if you've been on the um wonder or the magic you know the like animation show in it uh, to me i think it's the better of the two shows so we are back at our table i'm waiting for us are the animators palette create your own character sheet forgot the word there so you have the sheet where you get to draw a character uh no letters words symbols or numbers uh put your name and your table number uh, and it will be animated and put up on the screen for you in order to get um, give us enough time or as much time as possible to do this Charlie our server actually took our uh, order yesterday at dinner like he asked us to pre like almost pre-order our dinner so that he we could focus on draw doing our drawings um, this for me I think is the better show of like animators palette this for me is animators palette the crush the turtle talk with the crush show it's cute and I know that kids probably love it and it's probably easier for them to run on the on the shorter cruises but if I was gonna pick one it would be this one um, it's uh, to me, it's just for me it's, it's just much better um, because it's our first night also uh, repeating a restaurant it's our first night with an alternate menu so if you're on like a four night cruise with a pirate night because tonight is also pirate night uh, you would get the pirate menu like the Caribbean menu uh, we don't have that on this cruise what we have is a um, what we have is an alternate menu with different dishes on it there's some really nice dishes on it so I'm really looking forward to this menu beef wellington tonight which is one of my just favorite dishes anyway um, so yeah we'll let you know how that goes as well don't ask me why I made the head so small uh, mistakes were made but that, this is my character uh, I also can't draw hair I can't draw if you couldn't tell from my character Roberta's already got taken away she's quite sad because I didn't let her take a picture but she drew our dog something that I've been meaning to talk about in the vlogs that I haven't yet is that there are some have been some things on this cruise that are almost COVID like so I've noticed things like uh, 
if you uh, cruise a lot and if you've watched our previous vlogs, you'll know that they come and they play like games with you using crayons on the table. None of that has happened on the cruise. Uh, the ice cream isn't self-served. Uh, everyone, every party is on its own table, so we weren't just lucky with the private table. It's everyone is, and that's the kind of thing that they used to do when you know COVID was a thing. So I. I'm not suggesting anything, like I don't know why the choice was made, I've asked people and I have had responses from people that I know that have suggested that it's up to the captain to make choices based upon situations as they arise and who knows what's happening, but it's just an interesting thing that these things aren't completely gone yet, that they can be turned on and off whenever really. So we have our first food item. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, completely forgot what I ordered, but that's fine. It's a good surprise. Uh, this is the cheese and broccolini soup. Uh, Roberta has gone for the chicken satay. Uh, this is the second satay we've had today, and if the first was any to go by, this will be just as good. And then we have both gone for the same main. So this is the Beef Wellington. Never had Beef Wellington on a Disney cruise before because we've never forgot to have this uh, menu before. It looks really good. I'm really excited. And then finally for dessert, I have what's called the Celebration Cake. Uh, again, I can't remember exactly what it is because I ordered it yesterday, but I know it's got strawberry and cream in it. Roberta has, what do you have? Orange tart, okay, that makes more sense. Cause, uh, yeah, ordered yesterday, don't remember. We'll put description on the screen. There's me. There he is. And then once the animation is complete, you get your drawing back, complete with a shiny official Disney animator sticker. Look at that. How cute is that? They have these, uh, you can see them in the floor, the Dalmatians. I've never seen them before because we've never seen this show on this classy ship before. So yeah, that for me, that's the much better animator's palette show. Uh, obviously pirate night so we are going to go up to the top decks now and watch some more fireworks to see
coming back to the room at night means we have a new towel creation. Well, this is just the bed runner. And under the sunglasses was some more chocolate. And that was pirate night, but this is definitely getting blended to one vlog for two days. So, see you in a minute. Oh, hello again. It's Wednesday, the 17th of January, and we are now in Jamaica. <laughs> I won't do the whole Welcome to Richard Vlogs Disney thing because this is just part two of a two-day vlog. Um, welcome to Jamaica. We have been here for a little while. What's the time? This is coming up to half past nine. So we have been here probably for about an hour or so. Um, maybe more like two. We got here quite early. Um, but we have had breakfast. We are going to get coffee. We're basically making the same play we did yesterday, which is spend a little bit of time on a quieter ship and then go and explore what's here in Falmouth. We don't have a port adventure here. Uh, we did look at a few, but there was nothing in the end that really like piqued our interest. So it's just gonna be another walk around, see what they've got here in like general vicinity of the port. So I've come up to the uh, top deck, to the open decks to have a look at the views. I think what's great about it <laughs> is that it's the first place we've been that isn't completely flat and it just looks really pretty because of it. So we are in Falmouth in Jamaica. This is one of like the two common cruise ship stops. So obviously we do have another ship behind us, uh, which is from Holland America Line. Uh, just further down the coast that way, I think, I'm not particularly sure the right direction, is Oco Rios, which is another one of the big uh, cruise ship ports. So you could come to either. Um, I don't know too much about either. All I know is that Falmouth is generally considered, again, one of the safest uh, places in Jamaica to visit. Uh, the only thing I've read about is that if you do step outside like the port area, just prepared to get that um, pushy sails, which if you've been to Nassau, you know how it is. You get offered every service under the sun within five seconds of walking outside of the port. I assume it's very similar to that. Um, but it's very pretty. Just sat, sat here looking at it. it, is very pretty. And then we come over to the other side of the ship. So here we have probably the biggest Jamaican flag I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, the Holland America Rotterdam. But here you do get a good view of the port area, which we're about to go down and explore in a moment. And you can see some of the downtown area, the hills in the background. It's very nice. Some of the port adventures that like are available here in Falmouth that we didn't do, but that are available, you have things like uh, dolphin stuff. So if you want to swim with dolphins, meet dolphins, this seems to be the port to do it in, uh, if you're on this particular cruise. Uh, kayaking, river rafting, zip lining, um, like adventure kind of things like that. And then there's also like your beach days. And then Disney always offers like private vehicle tours around the, um, the areas. So plenty to do, uh, lots to do if you did want to do that. Uh, just for us, there was nothing really particular that we wanted to do. So we just thought, you know what, let's just go and explore ourselves. And back to just a gangway to get off. It is pretty windy actually. It's always nice when you get off in a port that you can come right down and have a look at the front of the ship and get a nice picture with the name. I feel like this must be one of like the harder ships to maintain because it spends as a lot more sea days. It's, it's, it's schedule is a bit more rigorous, like seven night cruises back to back to back. A lot of sea days on those on those cruises, um, but it still looks incredible. Like it still looks great. So there's quite a lot of port infrastructure here. It looks like you actually do the security side of things in the port if you're used to getting back on a cruise ship you know you always get your bag scanned each time but they weren't doing that this time so it looks like they do that for you in the port and we have this like nice little shopping area in the directly in the port again if you've been on a cruise and you get off in a port you know what you're gonna find in the shopping areas we're talking jewelry gold, diamonds, always very popular cruise ship uh, purchases, as watch places, you know, your standard places. Well, obviously what we're looking for is more like normal gift places. So we're gonna go try and find, you know, our Jamaica magnets. 
another popular thing obviously to buy in the Caribbean is rum. It's very common at all of the uh, uh, ports for there to be like alcohol um, sales. You can buy it, you can take it back on the ship, but as you get it back on the ship, you have to hand it over to the cruise staff and they will look after it for you and return it for you before you get off in Port Canaveral because you can't take it on board to drink it. So just something to consider. You can't take a sneaky beverage back on board to save on your bar bills. Just outside the port, there are these uh, informational signs of all of the history of Jamaica and Falmouth. They're very interesting, definitely worth a read. And of course, can you come to Jamaica without thinking about this man? Uh, was actually from around here, which is very cool. Maybe we'll see Usain out and about. <laughs> oh, hello. Um, there is a bit of a time jump. You left us exactly where, you found us exactly where you left us, walking back into the port. We did just walk out into the town of Falmouth uh, and we met a man, uh, a tall guy called Tony. From the second we met him, I don't think there was any chance that he wasn't gonna be showing us around. <laughs> uh, but at the same time, I'm super glad that we met him because he took us to so many places. We saw some wonderful sights. We met a lot of local people. Uh, because everyone seemed to know who Tony was uh, and it was it was genuinely a great tour super authentic met so many people uh, when you do come to Falmouth if you do come to Falmouth I think that's a very expected thing like the they are gonna be very pushy they are gonna almost not give you the opportunity to say no um, but at the same time part of that was good because we probably wouldn't have done that otherwise like we, we probably would have just walked around for five minutes, come back to the port, got our uh, souvenirs, got back on the ship. It's now half past 12. So it was a good hour and a half, nearly two hours walking around. We got our steps in. Uh, yeah, it was great. Uh, we're gonna carry on looking now around the port shopping area, see what we can find, uh, find ourselves some nice uh, magnets to remember our time here in Jamaica. We got our um, magnets and uh, we've had a little bit of a look around. We're gonna start heading back onto the ship now. I understand that obviously for you guys that was probably all of about five minutes, if I'm lucky, of footage. He took us to the oldest church on the island. He told us the church was originally going to be built in England and that's why the design looks so English, but the materials were actually in Jamaica and in the end they couldn't get them to England to build it, so they built it in Jamaica instead. He took us down to a local fishing village where they were literally catching fish and, and gutting them there on the side of the of the beach. So he said you can come down, buy fresh fish, take it home and just eat it straight away. He then took us to a local school where we met some of the school children. They literally ran up and hugged us, which was incredibly cute. Spoke to one of the local teachers. He was so friendly, just so welcoming. And then he took us around town to the courthouse and through town and back to the port. Like I said, the whole thing probably took about an hour and a half and we had a great time. We're in a horn battle with... If you hadn't guessed from the horn... Rotterdam is leaving. There was a little bit of a horn battle going on just then. trick you always win the horn battles right apologies for the wind it is bad but our lines have been let go so we will probably be joining the Rotterdam very soon there's people down in the uh, marketplace of where we were uh, like saying thank you for coming to Jamaica enjoy the rest of your vacation honestly I've loved this port like the people are so insanely friendly it was genuinely probably my favorite port we've been to on this cruise we went to sweet on you the ice cream shop roberta got what did you get espresso toffee gelato i got lemon cheesecake gelato because lemon is a massively underrated dessert um flavor in my opinion uh we're just racing the rotterdam there it is out there. I have no idea where it's going next, but I love seeing other ships out at sea like this. I do have Wi-Fi on this sailing, so...
So um, whenever I see like lights off in the distance, I'm straight to Cruise Mapper, which is a website that you can look up where ships are in the world. I'm like, what's that ship? What's that ship? What's that ship? Um, anyway, back, back to the ice cream, the important thing. Um, the cost for both of us, so Roberta got one scoop of gelato in a cone. I got one scoop of gelato. Oh, that's good. That's very coffee flavored. Um, I got one scoop of gelato in a cup and it was like $10.15, which I don't think is too bad actually for like gelato um, for ice cream. I know you get the free ice cream, but we do like to at least once on a cruise go and get the fancy ice cream. Everything on board that you buy does come with an 18% auto gratuity. So the crew always get tips and you can of course add extra. There are certain places I like sweet on you and I guess vanilla peas on the dream and uh, inside out treats on the wish where they just don't give you the option. It's just a, the 18% auto gratuity is what you get. But think of it almost like a tax. So whenever you see the prices of anything in like bars, uh, there will be 18% added on to that cost. We have come down to the tube for some more trivia. Tonight it's 90s music trivia. Roberta's currently looking at a 90s playlist on Spotify just to like get the brain going for 90s music. Uh, it's also Snippets tonight, which is another great uh, Disney Cruise Line game show. I'm sure they play it on other cruise lines as well, but it's always fun. So we'll probably come for that uh, after dinner. Now listen, to make it fair for everyone in the room, it'll be one point for each. So one point for the song title, one point for the artist. So I think we're ready for these sound clips. If you're ready, say yeah, you? Yeah. Here we go, with song number one. Now if there's words, try not to sing. Here we go, with song clip number one. Yeah, you? If you got one correct, say woo! woo! Amazing, a room full of winners. <laughs> yeah, five correct. So we didn't win trivia. We don't have the 90s music knowledge, um, but it's 2000s music tomorrow and I feel like that's our big chance. Anyway, it's dinner time. We're back in Enchanted Garden with the alternate menu. So let's go have a look and see what we got. So to start, I have the uh, shrimp, sauteed shrimp in garlic with jambalaya rice. Roberta over here is working on the mushroom soup and she says it is very good. So for the first time this cruise, we return to Richard not being able to choose, so we get two mains. Uh, this is, we'll start here, this is a New York strip steak. It's a steak. You know what steak is. That's that. This here is the trio of veal, and it's veal three ways. A small steak, some pulled veal, and like a little parcel pasta dish as well. Uh, and I just genuinely couldn't decide, so you know what? You're on holiday. Get both. And then finally, I have a chocolate cake for dessert. It looks very dark. I don't know if it's just the lighting in here. Roberta has the creme brulee cheesecake. Now, the very good. Roberta's favorite, possibly dish on any menu on the uh, Disney Cruise Line is the creme brulee. So, creme brulee or creme brulee cheesecake? Creme brulee still. <laughs> And then I also have <laughs> this. I know, the little Mickey, little Mickey sprinkles are great. Uh, it's not my birthday today, that was last week, or a long time ago, if you're watching on the vlog. Um, but yeah, uh, happy 55th birthday to me. We are back at our room to our towel elephant. And even more chocolate. This is definitely the most full I've felt so far on this cruise. Um, I kind of wish they had told me that they were gonna give me double dessert before I ordered <laughs> double entree, but it's fine. I feel like when someone brings you a dessert, oh, it's swaying a bit, sorry if I'm stumbling around. Um, I feel like when someone brings you a dessert, especially like a birthday dessert, you have to eat it regardless of how full you are. So anyway, uh, 
next thing we're going to do tonight, we are off to play Snippets, which is another great Disney Cruise Line game, which is where we are going now. <laughs> this game show, it's on the screen here. Yeah. Spin it around. Snippets. <laughs> Angie, you play too much. Hey, what about my jacket? <laughs> it's all about. <laughs> Did he just snort over there? It's all about <laughs> sound effects, TV tunes, and movie soundtracks. All right, let's move on. Okay, at the moment. Once you do the sound effect, raise your hand as fast as you can. Once I see who puts their hands up first, I will come to you and you let me know what that sound effect is. Here we go. Edgy, mix it up. Don't give them the same thing like last week. No pressure on you at all. All right, wow, that was really fast. The first timer. What was that? A cat. What was the cat doing? Meowing. Let me hear how a cat actually meows. Meow? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Go running and grab the chicken. Whoever gets the chicken first gets the answer. All I need is a television show that's associated with the, with the tube. All right, here we go. First one. What was that? Love boat. Was that the look? Yeah. That's the love boat. All right. So we're looking for the first person that gets three. Then you get to move on to the final round. You guys made it to the final round. With this round, this is a quick fire round. All right? Some movie song tracks are going to be played. I don't need the song title or the artist. All I need is the movie that is associated with the soundtrack. You're going to figure out who's going to go first with rock, paper, scissors. How all grown adults should settle all disputes. What was that? That's paper? snippets and after snippets there was a very good magician but I always try not to record magicians because even though this one was actually quite happy to tell us about how he did this trick she never want to catch on camera how they do it got to keep the magic alive uh, it's nearly midnight uh, Roberta's gone to bed I'm on one of my like late night wander arounds that I like to do on these cruises the ship gets really quiet at night so I just like to walk around and explore when there's no one really going on. If you can't tell from the music, Toy Story 2 is currently playing on Funnel Vision. There's a few people sat down there watching. So that's gonna be it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. It doesn't really feel like it's gonna look like we spent much time in either port. I don't think I filmed very much in either port, but we did and I really thoroughly enjoyed them both. Falmouth generally might be my favorite port that we visited on any cruise. The people were incredible and the friendliness of everyone was, was great. But we will talk about that another time. Like I said, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the vlog, please don't forget to click that thumbs up button because it does help us out a lot. Also, don't forget to subscribe with the notification bell on so you get notified of all future vlogs. And how about leaving me a comment? I love talking about Disney. Anyway, thank you so much. We'll see you next week for Pixar Day at Sea. But for now, bye.